One of the questions that I get asked a lot is, can a chiropractor fix scoliosis? Almost always that person is thinking of a routine standard chiropractor. And we know chiropractic is a very wide profession. There's chiropractors who are gonna be doing maybe only nutrition. Another chiropractor only does acupuncture. Another chiropractor does works with emotional problems. Here we have a more of a biomechanical approach and here we're highly trained in the treatment of scoliosis. This unfortunately is very rare in the chiropractic world. I'm vice president of the Clear Institute. I am in the director of curriculum development. My mission in life is to get more chiropractors to do this work. And I can tell you it's difficult. I'll go out and do speaking to two, three, 400 people and I'll get an expression of interest of maybe five or 10. And maybe if I'm lucky, one of them is gonna take up this work. Unfortunately, it's rare. There's not too many people that know this. When I say highly trained, I'm telling you I've been doing this for 40 years developing my, my professional skills by studying all the different techniques that are available. And there are seven different schools of conservative scoliosis care. So I travel around, I've studied with the Italians, I've studied with the Germans, I've studied with the French, I've studied with the Australians, I've studied with people in the United States, obviously. All over the world, people are researching conservative scoliosis care to develop these programs. So the question is, can a chiropractor take care of scoliosis? Yes and no. If the chiropractor is highly qualified and is trained in treating scoliosis, absolutely yes. Matter of fact, I see chiropractors as being the future of conservative scoliosis care. You've got one place where you have a doctor who does the x-rays, you have a doctor who designs and builds and fits the brace, you have a doctor who develops the exercise program and teaches it to the, to the patient, you have the same doctor who's supervising the overall care, it is the future of conservative scoliosis care. Contrast that with the standard now, which is that you have an orthopedist. He's like at the apex of the medical world, but he really knows very little about the conservative world. So he sends you to an orthotist who builds the brace. The orthotist who does the brace doesn't have the ability to take x-rays to check the brace. He doesn't have the ability to synchronize a scoliosis specific exercise program. And he oftentimes flippantly will say, okay, that's your brace, see you later. Here, we use the brace as a tool. So the, the skills associated with bracing, modifications of the brace, following the brace as the patient's body is changing is critical to the successful outcome of the care. And that's why I feel chiropractors like me are getting such better results than, for example, the orthopedist who's saying, okay, go swimming and here's a brace. And that's it, bye-bye. Come back in three months, come back in six months. And we've seen many times that the curve just progressively gets worse and worse in those situations. Unfortunately, sometimes that's when the child comes here they, because they've trusted the medical model. They said, well, this guy is in a white coat. He's in Sinai. He must know what he's talking about. And yet, unfortunately, they see a decline and they wind up here oftentimes really as a last resort. Now, there is another type of scoliosis that the typical chiropractor can treat, and that's what's called a functional scoliosis. Functional scoliosis is due to muscle spasm, the, the tilting that's associated with back pain, like antalgia where the person is tipped over, maybe a very short leg. These sort of things a standard chiropractor can effectively treat, but these are typically mild curves and it's a very small classification. Of all the patients that come to me every year, I have a handful of those type of cases. All the other cases are what we call idiopathic scoliosis, and this is the genetically driven scoliosis. I'm gonna talk a lot about this in another video, and I'm gonna explain this in detail. Thanks for watching. I hope you found all this information helpful. Please subscribe if you'd like to have more information about scoliosis, and don't forget to hit the bell. That'll alert you whenever we publish new information. And if you've got any questions, write them in the comments field, and I'm gonna make sure to address them in a future video. Thanks for watching.